Welcome to Sonic Studio and Soundblade world-class audio mastering and restoration systems. What do the Beatles, law enforcement agencies worldwide, and millions of commercial release CDs, singles, and downloads have in common? Sonic Studio No Noise. No Noise is a single-ended broadband denoiser that is very easy to use, flexible, and highly effective at removing unwanted noise with very few or no noticeable artifacts, even at extreme user settings. Starting in the earliest days of digital audio, Sonic Studio No Noise was the world's first computer-assisted digital noise reduction technology available to major record labels. No Noise digital audio restoration systems have been awarded both Emmy and Academy Awards for technical excellence and have been used on countless sessions to eliminate background noise, overly ambient or poorly mic'd recordings, clean up hissy analog tapes, noisy guitar amps, and removing hum and rumble from preamps and other studio electronics. With Sonic Studio's release of No Noise 3, that same pioneering noise elimination technology has just been made available for the first time as an audio units and VST plug-in for the Macintosh OS X operating system. Using No Noise 3 is a simple, non-destructive process. First, you locate a region of noise, click the Take button to make a noise estimate from that noise, adjust the parameters in the No Noise 3 user interface in real time to your liking, then export or bounce your mixes or files to apply the No Noise processing to a new file. I have a stereo sound file from the Utah State Historical Society's Oral History Project open here in Apple's Logic application. There are two issues to address in this example. Let's listen for a moment, make a mental note of both the noise and the high-pitched tone or ringing in this recording. I'm at Randy Ramsley's home and farm in Caneville, Utah. Randy's going to uh, talk a little about uh, his experiences as a modern farmer. Randy. Modern farming in Caneville. Wow, there's a lot of noise in this recording. The signal to noise ratio is very low. There's a lot of room tone or ambience, as well as the noise induced by the cassette recorder. I'll open a No Noise 3 plugin example and introduce you to the user interface. I like to press the reset button at the bottom of the settings column prior to using No Noise 3. This action resets the estimate, interpolation, and parameters to default settings. I'll click the process on button to patch No Noise 3 into the signal chain. The first step in denoising is to create a noise estimate from the material to be processed. The estimate is an individual fingerprint of the noise and determines the threshold values for each frequency bin. To take an estimate, listen to your track and locate a short section of audio where there is only noise or predominantly noise. The best place to take an estimate is where the noise is at its loudest level and the content is at its lowest level. You only need about a half a second for accurate results. I've located just such a spot here in this logic project. It's noted as take estimate here. I'll set the playback cursor to a few seconds before the section I've identified as noise. Start playback, and as the playhead moves over the noise segment, press the take button once. Worth uh, our attempts to make a go of it here. Uh, what brought me here? Clicking the take button samples the audio that's playing and then creates both a noise estimate, this blue line, and an adjustable interpolation line, this gray line with dots or bins. Now, let's remove some noise. First, I'll increase the threshold setting by clicking and holding within the threshold and dragging my mouse up, setting this to about 35 or so. Together with the reduction parameter, the threshold parameter provides the basic control over how aggressively the no noise process is applied. The threshold can be thought of as the fine line between noise and music. As the threshold is raised, more of the signal at all frequencies is processed. Remember that threshold and reduction settings should generally be adjusted together while listening for best results. Next, I want to reduce 
reduce the noise using reduction. This value in decibels sets the maximum reduction to be applied. A setting of zero produces no noise reduction. The more negative the value is set, the greater the reduction in noise, but with an increased danger of producing audible artifacts in the audio signal. Again, threshold and reduction settings should be adjusted together for best results. The key to using no noise is critical listening and the use of the preview noise, no noise button to help determine an acceptable compromise setting. So let's listen and I'll make some adjustments to the parameters in the no noise three plugin window. I'm at Randy Ramsley's home and farm in Caneville, Utah. Randy's going to uh, talk a little about uh, his experiences as a modern farmer. Randy. Modern farming in Caneville. I don't know if uh, that can be considered modern. Uh, this is a harsh, beautiful, interesting, unique place. Uh, all the knowledge that I've gained in my past regarding farming has been readapted. You can hear what a dramatic difference No Noise 3 has already made. Sonic Studio's No Noise 3 has this cool preview button. Clicking the preview button toggles the No Noise 3 processing to a solo mode where only the noise being removed is heard. Soloing just the noise is useful for adjusting all No Noise 3 parameters. I'll fine tune this a bit and A-B the processing on and off. I'm at Randy Ramsley's home and farm in Caneville, Utah. Randy's going to uh, talk a little about uh his experiences as a modern farmer. Randy. Modern farming in Plainville. I don't know if uh, that can be considered modern. Uh, this is a harsh, beautiful, interesting, unique place. Uh, all the knowledge that I've gained in my past regarding farming has been readapted to fit this climate and this environment. Uh, but the the place is just spectacular and the community is just wonderful and it's made it worth uh, our attempts to make a go of it here. Now, there's this annoying high frequency tone I'd like to tame. It's up at about 3200 hertz. I'll switch into preview mode and adjust the bins at about 3200 hertz in the interpolation line to correct this. In preview mode, it's important to remember that you're listening to what's being removed from your track. So moving these bins up increases the amount of reduction, so you'll want to hear more of the objectionable noise in this mode. It's kind of the opposite of an EQ, but the concept is simple. At a particular frequency, moving the bin control down will decrease the amount of reduction. Moving a bin control up will increase the amount of reduction. I'll play this track once more and switch various parameters on and off so you can hear the full effect of this powerful noise reduction tool. I'm at Randy Ramsley's home and farm in Caneville, Utah. Randy's going to uh, talk a little about uh, his experiences as a modern farmer. Randy. Modern farming in Caneville. I don't know if uh, that can be considered modern. Uh, this is a harsh, beautiful, interesting, unique place. Uh, all the knowledge that I've gained in my past regarding farming has been readapted to fit this climate and this environment. Uh, but the place is just spectacular and the uh, community is just wonderful and it's made it worth uh, our attempts to make a go of it here. Uh, what brought me here, I've always wanted to do an organic farm. I tried to do an organic farm in South Dakota in 1971, but I was young, didn't own the land, needed to spend some time growing up and finding the will to work this hard. Uh -huh. uh, bought this place about 10 years ago. Um, pretty impressive. The operation of No Noise 3 is a subjective process. There is no single correct setting. 
only your hearing can decide. In general, though, if too much program is present in the suppressed signal, then you are probably using threshold or reduction settings that are too aggressive. Also, it's fairly easy to misinterpret noise as high frequency content, so critical listening with a wide band speaker system or quality headphones are required for proper operation. You can try No Noise 3 on your Mac by signing up for a free 14-day demo of No Noise 3 at sonicstudio.com. Select No Noise Audio Restoration from the Products Navigation menu, click on the No Noise 3 graphic, and select the Download Demo button. You can download the Logic Project and Sound File used in this tutorial from the No Noise 3 webpage at sonicstudio.com. If you want to learn more about using No Noise 3, the No Noise 3 user manual is a great place to start. The user manual is installed in the Documents folder of your Mac. If you have any questions about No Noise 3, please contact us at sales at sonicstudio.com. Thank you for watching and happy denoising!